What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a freelance artist journey. Flip through the book and maybe sketch a little bit. And slowly, the desire came back. And that was, I want to say, around 2009. And so by about 2012, I had um, made the declaration that, you know, I'm going to draw. I'm going to illustrate. I'm going to get back in there and do what I was supposed to do from the beginning. And, you know, I, I, I issued a challenge to myself. I pulled out all my old sketches from years past and looked them over. And I said, you know, I have some good stuff here. You know, if I could add to this, then I could put together a little art book just to share with family and friends. And, you know, it, it was like, you know, I gave myself a project. It was kind of like I hired myself to illustrate a book, you know, and I knew I could do the graphic design for it. I had a number of illustrations already. Um, at the time, I had just bought a my first graphics tablet. And yeah, that's around here somewhere, too. Uh, <laughs> I cannot I don't see it. But yeah, so I brought, bought this little cheap graphics tablet and was using GIMP at the time. I kind of still use GIMP to this day. And so I, I was starting to get into digital illustration. And so I said between the traditional work that I had, you know, I had some pen and ink sketches, some color, um, colored pencil illustrations that I had done. And just over the years, I had amassed quite a bit. And so I said, you know, I could combine this with a few digital pieces and have enough for, you know, a 50 page book, you know, just like a little thin coffee table book, something like that I could kind of give to family and friends and challenge myself. And at the same time, just kind of put it out there that I am an artist because up to that point, a lot of people, a lot of my friends and family didn't really know me as an artist because I didn't really share my drawings or anything with anyone. Um, on top of all this, I said, you know, what if I used Kickstarter to help fund this project? Kickstarter was the big thing then. You know, it was just starting to um, really get the attention of people. And, you know, that that, you know, money was being made through Kickstarter and not that I thought that this project would make me rich or anything, but I just wanted to challenge myself in a number of different areas. Number one, getting back into graphic design and designing something for myself. Uh, number two, illustrating. And letting the world know that I illustrate. And then number three, trying out this new Kickstarter platform just to see what would happen. You know, and I figured that, you know, if I set the bar real low and just ask for the minimum, I think I figured that I could get 10, 10 to 20 books done for a couple hundred dollars. And so that that's what I did. I, I the minimum amount was two hundred dollars to print the book you know two hundred dollar minimum and anything over and above that i would add either pages to the book and make it bigger or give people a personalized sketch add their name in the book as a contributor that kind of thing so yeah I set the challenge, created my own little video campaign for Kickstarter, put it all together. And in the end, I think I raised like uh, 225, 250 bucks, something like that. You know, so 
I made just enough, you know, and I figured between family and friends, I should be able to raise at least 200 bucks. And, you know, we just made it. So, um, but yeah, so I put this book together, you know, and those who contributed got a copy of the book. It was a real big confidence booster for me personally. Just it's a magical thing to finish a job and be able to look at it and say, you know, I, I said I was going to do something. And I set out to do it. It was difficult, but I persevered. And here's the finished product. It's done. I did it. That is such an amazing motivator and confidence booster. It is it, it it's indescribable. So you've got to do this. I, I stress this. I, I beg and plead with you to create a a goal for yourself. Challenge yourself to to create some project or something, uh some type of merch or whatever it might be, uh, an art book, a sketchbook, playing cards with your illustrations on it. it. It really doesn't matter what it is, but make sure it's something that stretches you a little bit, that challenges you and get others involved so that you're held accountable. You know, and that was one big thing that this project did for me was that it put me on the hook because now You've got people's money involved and any time uh, someone else's money is involved, someone gives me their money and they're looking for something in return. Uh, the pressure's on, you know, the 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 gauntlet has been thrown down and you have to perform. And that's kind of when you rise to the occasion. If. This is a little something that you're just doing for yourself on the side. And nobody knows about it. You can pick it up and put it down. You know, since then and long before that, I've I've had projects um, and desires and goals to create a graphic novel, to write a script, to do this, to do that. And I've yet <laughs> to finish a lot of those things. But they're, you know, they're a little bit more lofty and a little bit more ambiguous Whereas this art book, it, it was um, very a very tangible thing that I was going to create. You know, I already had a number of the illustrations done. I just needed a few more to do. Um, I knew that it was a book. I knew how many pages it was going to be. You know, I didn't really have much to write, you know, because it was just more about just flipping through and looking at the pictures. And I had just little blurbs about each illustration a little something that I said so I, I didn't make it complicated but yet and still it was challenging it stretched me but I got it done and I mean to this day I have a copy you know I, I may share that you you may be watching a video of me flipping through pages right now in which case you know I'm sorry <laughs> it's not you know, it's like we, we go back and we look at our old work and we cringe. And yeah, so so it's a little cringe worthy for me. But, you know, I want to share these things with you, inspire you. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's where this this video has uh, kind of taken a a direction into encouraging you to take on a personal project make sure it's challenging but at the same time straightforward enough that you can complete it get someone to hold you accountable to it or a number of people to hold you accountable to it um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and in this video here you know it's been a pleasure sharing this with you again hope it helps you and um yeah so have a good one thanks for listening and watching and i will see you in the next video